Team at Soccer Universe. It is football shirt Friday and for that reason I decided to put on the new Nigeria shirt. Uh, it just seems fitting uh, as it's surely the craziest shirt that I own. I love it and I'm sure I will turn a lot of eyes with it. Uh, just in case you haven't heard, for football shirt Friday uh, you get uh, classic football shirts, 20% off. So for you sock uh, shirt geeks out there, I'm for once not gonna take part in that, but um, that's a big opportunity to get a really nice shirt for a little bit cheaper than usual. But let's talk soccer action from yesterday. Um, first of all, um, Let's get Coppa Italia out, out of the way. I didn't watch, I just watched highlights this morning. Uh, I actually decided with Milan out and also the La Liga games, although there was one big one in there, uh, but all, all over it didn't excite me so much that um, it's probably better to just get some sleep because sleep, I didn't get much in the last two days, so yeah. There you go. Uh, sleep I did very well. Coppa Italia. Uh, return leg Atalanta Fiorentina. Uh, first leg was 3 3, so Fiorentina more or less needed a win because the ch uh, chances of 4 4 not really there. Um, Fiorentina had a bright start um, and got right at the beginning on the scoreboard uh, Muriel. I think it was a pass by Chiesa, free on goal, uh, and converted. And then a little bit later, Verde 2, I mean, it was even within 10, 10 minutes, Verde 2, uh, also free on goal. Uh, but for some reason, he drifted too far out uh, instead of going directly onto goal. And uh, it's thus the shot is saved and um, it's not going in. And it took Atalanta a little bit to uh, get going again, uh, but in the 11th minute they get a penalty, full full reserve that Ilicic, who actually played for Fiorentina not too long ago, uh, slots home and it's 1-1. And um, Atalanta is getting a much better grip on the, on the game. I mean, you would expect Atalanta to be the favorite in that game, simply for the fact that they are uh, much better in the league. Um, and Fiorentina is really somewhere in no man's land. Um, for me, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, the second half starts, so it uh, remains 1-1 uh, in, in the half, second half again. Fiorentina has a slightly better, better start, but then it's all Atalanta and there's not much more happening. Uh, Atalanta actually um, getting the 2-1 through Papu Gomez, which was a horrible goalkeeping error to make it. 2-1 for Atalanta at that moment, Fiorentina needs two goals and that was never in the cards, they didn't even have big chances. And so Atalanta moves on into the final against Lazio, uh, which yeah, <laughs> is not the final I wanted to see, to be honest. Uh, I wanted to see exactly the other final, but I am alright, you know, I think both teams that are in there do deserve it. Naturally, Atalanta has eliminated Juve, um, and if Lazio goes twice to the San Siro to get a win, um, also very well deserved to make it to the final. The real positive to me is if you look at the jerseys, thanks to Lazio progressing, uh, which has a light shirt, uh, light home shirt, meaning that whatever game we would have gotten, we would have gotten a nice jersey match up. Whether it is against Atalanta or it is against um, Fiorentina. Although, with the blue of Atalanta, let's see, maybe uh, Lazio has, has to play in their uh, pure white jerseys that they had to pull out against Inter. I don't know. I all really hope they play in their first jerseys. I remain, those are the best club jerseys this season. Uh, for that reason, I actually. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to see them maybe winning something because those are really great jerseys. Uh, that design, absolutely love it. Um, and given that I'm today in Igi, Nigerian Igi, 
fit or redesign. What's not to love about the E on the front? Okay, uh, quick error divisia PSV gets a 3 0 win at William Tway, so they move level of points with Ajax. Again, Ajax has a better goal differential. If it was not goal differential but head to head, PSV would be ahead. This is another super, super, super tight title race. Uh, Portugal and the Netherlands um, are even tighter than um, are even tighter than England. Although they all have the, the whoever cracks will not win. If um, if Benfica Ajax win out, they have the same uh, same situation as um, Manchester City. Okay, Spain. Um, first of all, Villarreal, I didn't see the highlight of that one, Villarreal gets a crucial win at Real Sociedad. Um, kind of not unexpected if you think about the table situation, Villarreal really need, need to win, Real Sociedad is kind of in no, a no man's land. So Villarreal gets that win and more or less, I mean they have now 39 points, 34 is the line. So that probably sees them through, I would say. Uh, which also means that Levante with their win, uh, 37 points, is a little bit closer, but also looks alright-ish. Um, it's actually pretty tight there. Uh, of course it's tight there. But I still think it, it is also clear who, who, who is going and who is not uh, going to go relegated. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about it in a sec. Um, the second game was Sevilla against uh, Rayo Vallecano. Tons of chances for Sevilla. Uh, somehow Rayo manages to keep it uh, at nil-nil at halftime. But after half, I think within the first 15 minutes or so, um, Rayo is... Um, Collapse in three goals um, by Sevilla, and they added uh, two more, so it's 5 0 Sevilla. Sevilla storms uh, ahead of the e e evening game into this uh, wanted um, fourth spot, then puts the pressure on Getafe to get a result at home to Real Madrid. Um, there's really not much to say about that game. There was not much happening. Uh, Real had the better of the game, but didn't take the chances. It was kind of a dull uh, affair. Uh, there was one good chance, a double chance by Getafe uh, to have a save by Caleb Navas. Then again, it was more Real Madrid than anybody else uh, that had chances. But you know, in the, in, in the end, they didn't connect. And so it ends in a pretty logically nil-nil, which means Getafe is level points with Sevilla, but uh, ahead to the goal differential um, and head-to-head -head as far as I know, because they won 3-0. Um, I think it's the head to head, head in Spain that decides, so that's why Getafe is head. But even, even goal diff diff differential, Sevilla has way more goals than Getafe, but also gave up way more goals uh, than Getafe. Uh, so the Getafe has the better goal differential. And we are realistically looking at Getafe being the Champions League. Maybe Sevilla could get in there. Um, I think Valencia is now three points behind. That loss was really costly for them. If they would have gotten a draw, I would still say Valencia is in there. But now it's two teams that they have to catch with three points back. Doesn't look all that great for Valencia making the Champions League spots again. But hey, we're going to see. Get tough in the Champions League, however, that would be a sensation. Not the, it's a little bit... Uh, the feeling to me is a little bit like Hoffheim, although Getafe and Hoffheim have, uh, except for that they're uh, small town teams, nothing to do with Real. I mean, Getafe is a suburb more or less of uh, Madrid. Uh, Hoffheim is a part of Sinsheim in the Mainz region, but you know, uh, also a small town. Okay, but of course they are funded by a millionaire, which I don't think Getafe is. 
don't know too much, but I, I don't think they are. They have, a, they have a slightly different structure. Well, let's talk relegation quickly. Uh, as I said, Villarreal is now out. Um, Girona is currently under the line with 34. Um, I think then it is 35 via the lead, 36 Celta Vigo, 37. Um, Levante at 39, Villarreal. I think Villarreal is safe, probably even Levante is safe. And the way Girona is going, it is really that Girona uh, will in the end occupy the last slot. They have been losing, they, they are collapsing, they are seriously collapsing. So I think it's between Valladolid and um, Girona, but Valladolid just beat them. 1-0, which was a super crucial matchup. Uh, and I think I don't know now the remainder of the program, but uh, just by look looking at form, Girona looks like a beat team that won't make it. So yeah, uh, I think Real Sociedad is gonna go through, uh, is gonna stay up. Which I think uh, not Real Sociedad, Celta Vigo. Why do I why do I uh, mess those two teams up? Celta Vigo is gonna stay up, which I am personally happy because I really, I always liked Celta Vigo for some reason. Uh, when I saw late nine, it was Celta de Vigo who played a really expensive style. I think I lost the boy, uh, but really an attacking style. But you know, it never could uh, keep up quite with Depor. Uh, but now Depor is nowhere and Celta is up. I think I, I, I really would like to stay that even for Aspas, who is basically keeping a one main mission of keeping the team in. So, uh, you know, that's personal preference. Uh, I think I, I think they're safe. I would even say, uh, yesterday I said I would like rather have uh, Catalan teams than Madrid teams in there. Um, on the other hand, when I think about it, between Girona and uh, Valladolid, Valladolid for me is a classical La Liga Primera División team so uh, just for that reason probably via the lead should stay up but you know <sighs> whoever is down down there is bound to have sympathies from me and <laughs> and in, 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 anyway because people like outsiders more than they like uh, fav favorite parents anyway let me know what you think about the games yesterday football shirt friday what are you wearing Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.